it's very interesting that you're bringing up uh, the role of oxytocin, which is called the cuddle drug, because in a sense, that hormone coursing through our veins allow us to feel very close, they want to touch, be affectionate, look into people's eyes. You know, if you think about the law of the magnets, when people turn towards each other that way, what rises in them is the level of oxytocin. So for example, the woman in the airport with the Torah, mm -hmm. by the time she came over to us to say that Torah is gonna be in your family for generation, she put her hand yeah. on me. What had happened in our encounter was the oxytocin level through our connection had risen and as a result she felt cuddlier. Right. She was a cuddlier person <laughs> suddenly. I mean, she was as cuddly as she's really when she's relaxed right. uh, with a higher oxytocin level. And when couples connect, what rises in them is the level of oxytocin that courses through their veins. Now, when couples are in the power struggle for a long, long time, it's as if their system dries up of oxytocin. They're bankrupt. They are bankrupt. Oxytocin bankrupt. Yes, what mm. a good way of putting it. Oxytocin bankrupt. In that state, there's a void. And that's the place where the possibility of searching to fill the void in other ways go on. And what we automatically do is the shortcut called dopamine. Because dopamine is what gives us a kick. It goes to our reward center. It is the chemical that makes us feel great. However, it doesn't have that sort of lasting effect of affection and, and tenderness and, and connectedness that oxytocin gives us when in a relationship we are committed to raise the level of oxytocin we both are experiencing. So the dopamine often felt in an affair, for example, is that kick. And we feel like I've never felt that way. Well, that's true because there's a dopamine kick is a unique sensation that goes straight, as I said, to the reward center. So we feel great momentarily what goes up must come down. Therefore, we feel very highs and very lows and go back for a bit more dopamine kick, which then again comes down. The oxytocin is a steady, solid, good, growing, generative feeling that we can make happen together mm -hmm. in a relationship where on a regular basis we have the practice of crossing the bridge to each other, taking each other's hands, sitting across, looking into each other's eyes, imagining the responsibility we have for the space, seeing the bridge to cross, and being willing to enter the dimension of the encounter.